Alright everyone, back with part 3 of my Let's Play of Mega Man 6, and as promised, we're gonna go through Tomahawk Man stage again to get that damn beat part. Because I wanna, you know, beat this game 100% with the energy balancer and the beat parts. Yeah, fuck you, cowboy! Say it before, and I'll say it again. It's a joy watching the Cowboys lose, especially when Detroit also loses on Thanksgiving, which I think they haven't won a Thanksgiving game in over a decade. Die! Die! Thank you! Okay, that was not one of my better moments. Oh, the Let's Play curse. You do your shittiest when you're playing for the whole world to see. Okay, what to talk about since... We've already seen this stage. I don't know. Might as well go up there again. I think I can grab another energy tank. I like this idea with Rush combining with Mega Man's armor. It's very creative. I mean, say what you will about Capcom sequels not being very different, but sometimes Capcom does get very creative. I wonder how much of this shit we'll see when Mega Man finally goes on Death Bat. Yeah, screw text death battle. We already saw what happened when Wily went on it. <laughs> well, mixed results! <sighs> and speaking of death battle, we've all had suggestions that we've sent in the screw attack to see who we'd like to see fight, but. There's one very special case that I think would make a great, epic fight. Paul Atreides from Doom versus Jake Sully from Avatar. Now, Avatar gets a bad rap, like saying it ripped off a lot of things like Fern Gully and Dances with Wolves or whatever, but no. Oh, wait. First, I want to use a flame blast to get rid of this fucker. But no. If James Cameron purposely ripped off anything, it had to be oh fail like I was saying it had to be doom anyone who's read doom knows what I'm talking about so who would win in a fight between the two well in the short run I think Jake Sully would do well cuz he's a trained marine He's more used to being the thick of combat himself, but as the fight goes on, he'd be at more and more of a disadvantage because... Paul Atreides can see just about all possible futures thanks to the spice, so... In the end, yeah, I think that would be the deciding factor. In the end, the Muad'Dib would triumph. It'd be a pretty kick-ass fight to watch, though. Alright, can I just... Do this. Yes, I can. Well, since I've already got the weapon here, might as well put that to good use and... Get rid of this asshat while I'm at it. Yeah, fuck you. Alright, now we're getting some. Oh! Spoke too soon. Yeah, he's up there ejaculating plasma down at me. Yeah. Okay. What's over here? Alright, just about there. Nah, I'm not gonna go for. I don't. I don't think I even need to fight him again, do I? Well, get the plant barrier ready just in case.
Yeah, I do gotta fight him again. Crap. What you gonna do? Once again, not much finesse, and once again, I don't giveth a shit. Yeah, I know I got the silver tomahawk. I already got it. I just need the fucking beat parts. <sighs> Who was I talking about before to liven things up? Death battle, right? Who else would I like to see? I'll have to think about that. Oh, I love the music here. your balls in my face. That was another fun thing about Mega Man 6. All the little shortcuts you can take and shit. See, will this hurt him? Yes, it does! Nice! I think I've already found the hidden path and ooh. Giant robot frog. Let's try blizzard attack. That's so fancy, just see if that'll uh, I'm gonna want to save some of that in case I got some of those things that rocket around when you step on the same plane as them. Ooh, another energy tank. How many do I have? I forgot to look. I know another one that Screw Attack will probably do. Another one against with girl versus girl. How about Sailor Moon versus Twilight Sparkle? I mean, Sailor Moon when I was growing up, that was the girly tune that guys liked anyway, because of the slapstick humor and oh, there's one. And superhero team action. And nowadays, guys will like my little pony because it's actually pretty damn funny. I consider it a G-rated South Park, but... So who would kill who? Okay, my prediction... Twilight Sparkle, easily, for two reasons. Most of Sailor Moon's arsenal is effective only against evil. And two, Twilight Sparkle's a whole lot smarter. So yeah, that one would be her all of... definitely. Oh, this part. I think I'm just gonna keep the jet on here. Oh, shit, shit! Yeah. Huh. I was right, that one little detour did take me all the way. Okay, good, this video won't be too long. Should be about 11 minutes. Yeah, that seems to be the de facto standard when doing Let's Plays of Mega Man games. It's like, two Robot Masters per video. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, it's possible to be in with the Mega Buster. I've done it, but really, right now, I don't want to bother. I beat Blizzard Man and Plant Man with the Mega Buster. What more do you want? Seriously, 
What more do you want from me? Yeah, Yamato Spear, just a standard to shoot straight ahead. It's really only useful for the next Robot Master and one boss in Wily's Castle. So, okay, that's it! Finally on track, got two of the beat parts, three more Robot Masters. See you in part four, we're gonna take on... Who's oh yeah, Nightman.